hey you guys before i start the video i just want to go ahead and remind you please subscribe go ahead and subscribe okay to my youtube channel make sure when you subscribe you hit the notification bell once you hit the notification bell make sure you click all so that you're notified of every single one of my uploads i upload every single tuesday okay and plus go ahead and share like and share this video because i promise you what we're going to be talking about this month you won't want to miss and then people around you won't want to miss okay so go ahead and like and share as well okay all right now on to the video welcome back zion family thank you so much for coming back what's good what's good what's up how you been how you feeling like what's good <laughs> welcome back let me chill out and start trying to act on ghetto or not welcome back you guys um if you're here for the first time hello what's up my name is youth pastor kareen i am a youth pastor at apostolic triumph Free church international this here is my youtube channel called zion train okay and this is just a this is just a youtube channel that i have outside of church um just something i do personally um on my own time just for a way so that just so that I can be able to allow God to use me as a vessel, not only inside the church, but outside the church as well. Because being, serving God is a lifestyle, you know. It's not something that we just do at church and then once we leave church, it's just like you drop it. Nah, that's not the type of Christian that I am. <laughs> nah. So yeah, so I use this YouTube, YouTube channel to basically... Help everybody come to the knowledge of the word of God and use my life to be an example to you guys in every in any way, shape, or form, you know? And of course, no one is perfect, but perfection is is the goal because Jesus is perfect, you know, and he's within us. Cool beans. Alright, so um, last month we've been talking last month and the month before that we would have been talking about falling in love with Jesus. I've been having people um follow me on my journey with falling in love with Jesus. But I want to take a little pause on that real quick because this month has been so heavy. And this is a new month in June. And it's just been so heavy on my heart for me to talk about relationships. Like, and it's really because of the, the certain people God has been allowing me to minister to or you've been using me to minister to. A lot of the times I'm minister, I'm noticing myself minister to people about relationships, the type of relationships that they're in, and um, to be specific, the type of relationship that I want to talk about is toxic relationships. Y'all, we need to we need to buckle down on this whole relationship thing. I can't stand how much you, uh, my brothers, my sisters, like y'all are allowing yourself to. Ha deal with stuff that y'all don't need to be dealing with in relationships like for for my ladies y'all sitting here allowing yourselves to be allowing yourself to go through verbal abuse you being talked down on and you allowing yourself to be beat around here and there like why do you think that's okay to why do you think it's okay to be treated like that like it's not okay and for my guys too like you sometimes sometimes you allow women the women that you're in a relationship with to talk to you any type of way you just keep you are a king you should be treated as such was same with the queen uh, same with the with the women you are a queen you should be keep, well technically you know in the spirit we are all in the word it causes all kings so your royalty at the end of the day royalty does not get treated like like a peasant don't allow yourself stop allowing yourself to be treated like well to be maltreated in your in your relationship i'm just hearing all types of st all types of things that people are going through in a relationship you got people arguing you, there's some people that that are in the, that are in relationships where you can't even go one day without arguing like what what makes you think that is healthy that's not okay it's not and it hurts me to see my brothers my sisters going through stuff like that especially because and i and i feel like not feel like i know I, the reason why i'm so passionate about wanting to help people in this area is because i've been i used to be a victim of of that you know it might not be as um uh, as severe as other as other relationships that i'm that i'm seeing that the lord is using me to you know minister to people in but 
in some way, shape, or form, I have experienced it. And because I've experienced it and the Lord has has allowed me to overcome them, it makes me want to help my fellow brothers, my fellow sisters to come out of that and know that you don't have to be dealing with certain things that you're dealing with. So listen, this month, I need you to stick around. I, you, you're going to want to stick around because we're going to handle, we're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about how to get out of these toxic relationships, Okay that's what we're gonna talk about um however the lord leads me that's how we're gonna do it but i want to be able to help every single one of my brothers my sisters with this thing okay you guys like no say no to toxic relationships Ooh, look who made it to the end of my video okay thank you for watching my video and thank you for watching it all the way through Make sure you tune in next week, Tuesday, for another upload, okay? I upload every single Tuesday. And if you're new, don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified for every single upload that I do, okay? See y'all next week, Tuesday. Mwah.